Put your headphones on. Okay, 10.3, using a given zero to write a polynomial as a product of linear factors, real zeros. So for the polynomial below, negative two is a zero. It's telling you that. And then it wants you to express g of x as a product of linear factors. So what I've got to do is I've got to use this zero to factor g of x. And then once I know what it looks like factored, then I can continue to factor the rest of it, okay? Because if you look at this, you will not be able to factor this using, um, what is it called? Grouping, okay? It just won't be able to factor using grouping. So what I do instead is I do synthetic division. This is my k value. And then I'm going to, this is already in its um, form. I don't have any missing terms, so coefficients only. And then bring this down and get one, negative two, negative six, positive 12, um, positive two, and then I get negative four, and then zero. That's my remainder, which is what should be the remainder if it's telling me it is a zero. Because if it is a zero, negative two being a zero means that x opposite sign plus two is a factor. Okay? So if this guy is a zero, then x plus two is a factor. And it is a zero because I got the remainder zero, okay? So that means that this guy is a factor of that polynomial, which means that polynomial can be written as x plus two times something else. What is that something else? It comes from the quotient part. This is my constant, my x's, my x squareds. So x squared minus six x plus two, okay? So then now it wants me to factor this. Now, if I could factor it just by looking at it, great. But there's no factors of two that are going to add to give me negative six. So what that means is that I'm going to have to figure out what those factors are using the quadratic formula. So for the quadratic formula, I get that x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four times a times c all over 2a. So that gives me 6 plus or minus the square root of 28 over 2, which gives me 6 plus or minus the square root of, let me see, how does that simplify? 2 square root is 7. And then I can split this, so 6 over 2 plus or minus 2 square root of 7 over 2 and then reduce each piece, I get three plus or minus two square root of seven. Oh, I'm sorry, not two, just square root of seven. So then I have um, two x values here. I have three plus square root of seven, and I have three minus square root of seven, okay? But if these are the x values, what are the factors? Okay, the factors are going to be x and then the opposite signs. So minus three and minus square root of seven. For this one, it will be x minus three and plus square root of seven. So then when I come down here, to factor the entire polynomial, I'm going to have x plus two, which was the first factor that they told me about. They just told me the value and not the actual factor. I had to put that together. And then from this factor, we got these two guys. So x minus three minus square root of seven and x minus three plus square root of seven. So not only do you need to find those x values, you need to find the corresponding factors. And it will always be x and then the opposite signs. Okay, and if you have two terms, take the opposite signs of both. 